Hello everyone. Today's video is simply talking about magazines. Because we get guns, we shoot guns, we clean guns, and then we upgrade the, uh, the sights, and then we upgrade the ports. But we forget about the magazine, except we buy them, we, we use them, and then we put them somewhere. Now, those magazines sometimes get used at the range, sometimes they get stacked up, and use maybe once every couple of years but we need to clean them uh, I clean mine every couple thousand rounds two three four thousand when I see they are really getting dirty because I use usually the same magazines first I have to answer a question that people keep on asking can I keep a magazine fully loaded at home and for how long yes you can uh, how long well people have reported that you can keep a fully loaded magazine for many years what I do in my case is for the average magazine that is about uh, 15 rounds I keep it loaded with 10 rounds and that is almost indefinitely but I rotate them because the ammo uh, needs to be shot there is newer ammo coming out there uh, you need to practice with that magazine to make sure it's still running right but one way to make sure the magazine runs right is to clean it because if not, due to dirty magazines or bad magazines, sometimes you will have malfunctions, failure to feed. So you clean your magazine, you try your magazine, and then you finally load it for home defense, EDC, uh, for your bug out bag. So today, quickly, I'm going to show you how to clean a magazine. I mean, there is nothing into it. Hopefully you have done it a few times. The tool that you need is some kind of solvent, and Hoppy's number nine is one of the best. You need a toothbrush, very, very helpful. Of course, a rag. Something to push the rag through the magazine. And something not to use is oil. You should not have any oil in the magazine. Magazines are meant to run dry. Because if you have any kind of oil in it, and the magazine drops on the ground with sand, dust, dirt it will get stuck inside and the magazine will end up malfunctioning so avoid to put oil into your magazine this particular magazine here we have a CZ magazine for 9 millimeters with an extension a plus 2 uh, extension from Meggar and they are extremely easy to pull apart there is this plate here I can pull down and then pull the back plate and then it comes out there are not too many parts on the magazine only five parts one two three four and five but they need to be clean let's start with the dirtiest part and use our hoppies to clean it and I put solvent all over these parts. I don't know all the parts, but you know what I'm talking about. Oh, there shouldn't be any powder, the residue there. Now here you have powder residue here and inside. And inside it's not easy to get there, so that's when you use your brush. And the brush will allow you not only to deposit some solvent, but to scrub everything in the process. I'm going to let it sit a little bit and I will do the same here. I mean that was dirty but not that dirty. And that's why I love a rag. Now some people like to have brushes, long brushes to clean up inside a a magazine housing. Uh, I prefer the rag because the rag you should already have it into your uh, range bag as a brush is another thing to carry around. All right let's finish all this I mean you can go into any area with the rag and a small screwdriver 
and this is done. I'm going to clean up this one here. It's mainly dust. Same here, mainly dust. Not very dirty. And the magazine housing. No, I forgot to do the outside. By the way, this is a, a firm toothbrush. They are into the toothbrush section. Very few people buy them because they really hurt your gum. So I use them for any kind of brushing into parts and magazines, handguns. They are really great for that. Rifles. And that's it. My magazine is clean. All right. Now you can also clean the spring, but there is not much deposition on the spring. Oh, one end of the spring is thinner than the other. It's like the magazine well. One end is thinner than the other. That's it. And you always insert it the way the magazine shows. I mean, this is out of place here, but this is right. Okay, so it's all common sense. Uh, I don't clean magazine too often. I usually do all my magazines on the same day and I started earlier today. And then I won't do it for a year, maybe longer, because I have so many magazines to go through. And then that plate here should add up this way. So with the uh, hook right there. So it will come here and start there. Most of magazines are about the same how they take apart. Usually you have a, a tab in the center to push. Uh, surprisingly, Glock is one of the hardest one to take apart. And this Megar is probably the easiest one of all. Now, before I use that magazine for home defense, I will make sure I go to the range, fill it up a few times, shoot it a few times, and if I'm happy with it, now I can use it for home defense. I also like to mark my magazines this way. I know which one I use and I end up always using number five at the range. Because of the mark, I can rotate them one at a time. Or if I am shooting with other people, I can teleport my magazine from theirs. Same thing for competition. So make sure you mark your magazine a way that you know that those magazines are yours. So that's about it. Don't forget again, clean your magazines, all right? It would be silly to have a great gun, oil gun, great ammunition, great sight, great trigger, and then the magazine doesn't work because it's dirty. So remember to clean them once in a while. Until next time, see you guys.